And now I'm off. Enjoy. Thanks, Have man. Fun. Will do. Doing on the bueno, Boop. bueno. What a nifty machine! Let me take my helmet off. Make sure I did that right first. <laughs> Why did BMW make a 1600 bagger? All right, so obviously what's big here, you know, 50% of the market is Harley Davidson. And, uh, you know, the Honda Goldwing has a piece of that. And then, so they've uh, built an American style heavyweight touring bike. Um, from here to here, you can see it's pretty familiar with the 1600 GT and GTL. Here on back, it's completely different. It's got its own unique look. Um, probably one one of the biggest, hottest segments right now is that whole bagger scene. Compared to the GT and GTL, which is, uh, I guess, you know, a European sport touring, um, this is gonna be set up softer. Um, your throttle response, your suspension, uh, for more plush ride. This come with the option for like the nav six system. Yeah, it Pops does. In right there, okay. just like on the GT and GTLs. Got it. And that's what this wheel would be for, essentially. Yep. Yeah. And to go through your dash also. Okay. Uh, keyless ride. So with your key fob present, just click the button to key it on. We we'll still have the ride modes. Rain, road, dynamic. And it's got radio. Yep, audio. Okay. So AM, FM, weather band, um, satellite, XM series. Very cool. Oh, cool. It's got the BMW Angel Eyes. Yep, the halos. So it does have the adaptive headlight system. Okay. So essentially that, as you turn, stays uh, parallel to your horizon, so it lights up your corner. Okay. That is so cool. So excited guys, this is the 2018 BMW K1600B, B is in bagger, not B is in boy today. I'm your man, the Duke of D, ever so gloomy Saturday morning. I was, I was thinking, is that the bike making all that ruckus? Nah, no, of course not. What you know about power, bro? What you know about me not knowing where I'm going? Me not knowing where I'm going. Fifteen hundred and you know change CC in line six that's producing 160 horsepower, a little over 120 pound feet of torque at seven at just over 700 pounds. So I mean it's a pretty serious bike. The numbers are. <laughs> pretty outrageous across the board. Very powerful, uh, relatively heavy, albeit it's a bagger. So it is coming in probably 100 pounds lighter than its Harley-Davidson or Indian motorcycle competitors. 
Uh, and that's that's what makes this really a much more sport touring oriented bagger than some of the competition that's out there today. You'll have seen from the walk around that this has basically every single BMW bell and whistle that you could ask for. We've got cruise control, we've got electric adjustable windscreen and, and electrically adjustable suspension. This uh, six right here in front of me is exactly where the Garmin or, or this six right here in front of me is exactly where the nav six system would go, where this wheel basically shows you all sorts of different information uh, from tire pressures to navigation. I have an incredible display in front of me that shows not only my analog tachometer and analog um, analog speedometer and analog tachometer, but my digital speed, my fuel range, what gear I'm in, what mode I'm in. I'm in road mode. It has, you know, I can change the suspension. We've got reverse over here. We've got heated grips. This is really just doing what they do and then kind of getting themselves into a new class of motorcycle, so to speak. We do have Bluetooth audio systems. I've got a quick shifter and an auto blipper so I can go up and down without the clutch if I want to. I mean, I, the, the list of things really, really continues and continues. And we're basically just gonna ride this bike around until we get lost and then we're gonna go back to Batley. Damn it. We're basically gonna ride this bike around until we get lost and then take it back to District HD. So that's pretty awesome. If you can see up there in the top right, I am in cruise suspension. Cruise being the more comfortable of the two options. I've got cruise and road. Uh, I have my preload set to one person, no luggage. The, the K1600 that don't come with the bags necessarily on the back. So if that's something that you're not interested in, I would just take that into account. Photo enforced 35 mile per hour. State of Maryland. Speed cameras are legal here. That's bad. That's bad for me and my family. Food will not be put on the table. You know, I love these first ride reviews because they just give me that very initial visceral feeling of a motorcycle. I've never ridden this bike. I've never so much as thrown a leg over it until just well, the riding position. Again, I'm five foot nine, 30 inch inseam. Uh, is there's more than enough room for someone much taller than me? There's also more than an inch in 30 inch seat height on something like a BMW S1000R that is a little bit narrower and allows you to get your feet to the ground uh, a little bit easier. But I'm having no issues. Is big boy back here? It's a burly boy back. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, being no different. Let's see if I can't put my feet up. So, this is pretty cool. I just want to show you guys if you can see it. Let me shift. Hold on. The bagger model does come with mid-sets, but it also comes with forward plates, so you can rest your feet. I've got my feet up there, I've got my legs, you know, well extended, it feels really, really nice. Uh, it would be an incredibly comfortable riding position for a long distance trip. And that's kind of what this is, right? This is a, albeit a cruiser-esque, cruiser design, but it's a sport touring motorcycle, so it's meant for long distances and, and comfort. And that's really what you're getting here. The windscreen is providing more than enough wind protection. The seat, albeit stock, is still incredibly comfortable. It's it's wide, it's got a kind of nice bowl shape to it. You're not pushed forward like you are on sport bikes. There's no lean in the seat. You're kind of sat in a little bucket, which is what you want to be. You got cruise control here, so if I wanted, boom, no hands. Obviously keep your hands on uh, for your brake, <laughs> but you know it's possible to rest your right hand from the throttle if you wanted to. This guy saw me earlier, pretty sure. And all in all, it's just an incredibly smooth bike. Like, really, really something else. You've got a little charger here for uh, heated, 
You've got a little switch over here. Flip that up. You can put in uh, for a heated riding gear. Cruise control is fantastic for these little 35 mile per hour zones that have speed cameras where you do not want to get pulled over. <laughs> uh, more importantly, you don't want to get a picture of you taken when you're going 45 and a 35 because you just didn't see it. That would be ungood. quote whipping it around when I was leaving District Harley Davidson back there because the 700 pounds just doesn't it doesn't feel like 700 pounds at all we're gonna take it down this way because we went down that way the first time and because we're doing a take two we're gonna go down a whole new way we're gonna use the auto blipper down into second down into first because we want power It has more than enough power. You don't need more power. Of course, you could always need more power, but I genuinely don't think this needs any more power, considering what it is, 160 horsepower, and 100 and what is it, 29 or 27 pound-feet of torque? That number alone is really exciting, because horsepower, to me, is less <sighs> visceral, is less emotionally driven than torque. Because torque is what gets you off the line. Horsepower is, like you know, top speed runs and stuff like that. I'm not going to go 150 miles an hour on this bike. Which I, I imagine you could easily do, if I'm being honest. But I do want to get to 60, you know, like a race driver. Or I want to do that. I want to do fourth gear pulls that feel like a freight train. We're going here. We're going here because I don't know where we are. This was the wrong turn. But because we're taking a leisurely Saturday morning ride. Where is the sun? Where are you, sun? <laughs> Where are you, sun? I want to go left. Click, 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 click. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. While we are at this stoplight, I'm gonna cycle through. I'm gonna put it in. We're in road suspension. And behind it, and what I mean by that is that as all BMWs, they do come with a three year, 36,000 mile warranty. I'm pretty sure that's class leading. And uh, on a bike like this, you know, the more things you have in a motorcycle, the more likely something is to potentially cycle, would give me the peace of mind that I was looking for uh, before deciding to purchase this over something like a Harley or an Indian or maybe a Goldwing or whatever your competition or whatever the competitive bike is that you're looking at. These 30 mile speed limits need to go away. And these photo and force stickers, too. They can F right off. I'll see you in the gates of hell. Brakes are strong. Brakes are very strong. That was lovely. Now that was just lovely. All the time that I had to be his and you. About these, these two wheel machines is that when you want to take a left turn at a stoplight, you're basically, you're, you're donezo. You know what, we're going straight. Gaithersburg area and you're looking to buy a Harley Davidson, a 
Ducati or a BMW, please check out District Harley Davidson. I will link them, of course, in the description below as well. It's Wono. KTM Super Duke, BMW S1000R. Uh, I'm more affiliated with sports bikes and sport riding, but I, I definitely get this bike. I totally understand it. Um, I've been giving bikes ratings recently. Oh my gosh, what am I? I'm gonna give this a. I'm gonna give this an 8.9. The reason it's not getting into that nine range, is, and and because the Goldwing was up in that nine range, is because this motorcycle didn't wow me. And maybe that's because I expect a lot from BMW, whereas I just didn't know what to expect from a Honda Goldwing. So that motorcycle, and of course the inclusion of the DCT, the automatic transmission on that bike, really shocked me. It really awed me. I, I had such a... I had such a surprising experience on that. Whereas when you throw your leg over a BMW motorcycle, especially from this K1600 lineup, you do expect something more. And, and you expect it to be a premium and amazing motorcycle. And this has, this has met those without question. I'm not saying anything about that. But maybe not exceeded what it already is, which is exceptional. So it's kind of, you know, it's very difficult for BMW, I'd say, to beat themselves in their own class. And I'll leave you on that wonderful note. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them in the description down below. Subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much to our sponsors, Rolic. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace! <gasps> We're getting a green light. I love green lights. You know why? Oh, because they're hard to come by. Ba, ba, ba. Yo, what is up guys, Duke DC here, and welcome to a tiny little Instagram video. That is right, I continue to try and master the mystical beast that is social media and Instagram. Uh, so, if you are watching this on Instagram, hi, how are you? I'm on the beautiful 2018 BMW K1600 bagger.